Hello fellow coffee botherers, I'm Kev from coffeeblog.co.uk and this is a second video in my series on the DeLonghi Dedica espresso machine. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to get home barista quality espresso from this domestic espresso machine. So the things you'll need are a capable grinder, a standard filter basket as opposed to a pressured basket, brew scales, a distribution tool of some sort, a tamper, and of course, ultra important, high quality, freshly roasted coffee beans. The grinder, I've got the Sage Smart Grinder Pro here, and I'll do another video comparing all the different grinder options, but just to cover it briefly here, I'd recommend this or the Sage Dose Control Pro, which is slightly cheaper, the Abirital MC2 or the Lalit Fred. For more, see coffeeblog.co.uk forward slash grinders. But as I've said, I'll talk more about grinders in an upcoming video in this series. But don't feel that you have to go electric with the grinder, because you don't. If you spend around 100 quid on a manual grinder, you're more than likely getting better quality where it matters, meaning the burrs and the burr adjustment, than you are on a 200 pound electric grinder where a lot of the cost is going on the electrics and the motor and so on. My favourite in terms of value for money at the moment is the 1Z Presso JX, and I'll put a link in the description below for more on these. They're fast with a big 48mm burr set, and they're very good grinders for espresso and for manual brew methods too. The standard basket, I've gone for the bottomless portafilter option. So you can buy a bottomless portafilter and it comes with a standard basket, and that's about 20 quid. Or you can just buy a 51mm basket and you can get these for about five or 10 quid, but you'll probably have to put some effort into making it fit, which involves bending the top lip down and hammering it flat. I can't be bothered with that. And I think the bottomless portafilter is a great thing as it allows you to see what's going on with the shot. You can turn your DeLonghi portafilter into a bottomless one as well, which is done surprisingly by removing the bottom. One thing to point out though, is that not all baskets are made equally. Plus, when you buy an aftermarket portafilter like this, there's not much info on the basket quite often, there isn't in this case, such as how many grams it's actually made for. So for the best results, I'd recommend using a good basket. Here, I have the IMS competition basket made for the Lapavoni. I bought this one from the espressoshop.co.uk and it's about 20 quid and it's a very good quality basket. And what's good about this as well is that it tells you it's made for a 14 gram dose, which is helpful. And another thing to point out is that if you get the IMS competition basket and if you've got this bottomless portafilter and I'll put a link in the description below to both, this fits this. So for the IMS competition basket, you don't need to hammer the top lip down. You can just buy this portafilter and it fits straight in, which is handy. If you want to use the IMS competition basket with the standard DeLonghi portafilter, it won't fit. You have to do some modification, but it will fit in this. Brew scales, you can use any, starting from about 20 pounds, but personally, I'm really impressed with these, which are the Time More Black Mirror. And see the top right of your screen for my video review of these, and I've put a link to that video and a couple of options for getting hold of these scales in the description. The benefit of spending a bit more, about 55 quid, on these versus the many 15 to 20 pound scales you can find is that these are rechargeable, they're responsive and they're precise, and they've got the auto timer function, which I'm really impressed with. The distribution tool, I favor the WDT method, which involves stirring the coffee throughout the puck, right down to the bottom, breaking up the clumps and evenly distributing the coffee within the basket. While this method started out with a dissecting needle, people have developed some tools to do this quicker and you can buy them or you can do what I've done, which is to buy a keycap puller like this for about a fiver and just cut the ends off. There's a link in the description below to this as well. You can use a tool like this too, which is a leveler or distribution tool, but they only deal with the surface of the puck. So personally, I'd either do the WDT method or a combination of the two. And I will do some comparison videos in the future of different distribution methods. Tampers, just about any 51 mil tamper will be fine. The DeLonghi basket does taper slightly. So if you're using a smaller dose in the basket, you might struggle with a 51 mil tamper like this one and you might need a 49 mil tamper, you'll struggle to get a 50 mil one. The IMS competition basket that I'm using here doesn't have the same kind of taper, so you should be fine with that with a 51 mil tamper. Coffee, very important. Get freshly roasted, great quality coffee beans 
like these. A few suggestions, seaworks.co.uk, that's my coffee. Redbird.co.uk, where I got this coffee from. Blue Coffee Box, Packed Coffee, Adams and Russell, Django Coffee, Foundry Coffee Roasters, and I'll put links in the description below. And for more, go to coffeeblog.co.uk forward slash coffee roasters for my UK directory of small batch coffee roasters. And there's almost 500 of them. So thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, click here to watch another one. And don't forget to click the like button. Cheers. And don't forget, if you want to become an official coffee botherer, you need to click this image around here somewhere to subscribe to our channel. And also, to become an accredited coffee botherer with all the benefits that come with that, just go to patreon.com forward slash coffee blog kev. Tatty bye.